Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Leaky Feel Me coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. Now look, 7 p.m. Central Time, daily uploads, bro. You know if you're not here on time, bro, I'm going to teach you a valuable lesson. So you better be here on time. But I uh, appreciate the support nonetheless. Guys, we got a dark man joint. This video is called Billionaire Thinks He Can Be Homeless. Bro, why would you even want to be... No, bro. Hell no, nah, bro. If I'm a billionaire, bro, I ain't gonna lie. You don't have to catch me catch me in a penthouse or something like that. I'm not playing these petty games just because I'm rich. Trying to relate to the public. No, I'm not doing that, bro. But I'm doing too much blabbering. I got my Burger King here, as you can see. But let's get the video cooking, man. <laughs> you have no idea what this means. It means you can buy more drugs and booze thanks to my bleeding heart friend here. Ignore him. Glad I could help. You have a good day. Bless you. Thank you so much. Bro, I never say drugs. You didn't have to be so rude to the man, Jason. Hey, I was looking out for you. You know giving someone like that money isn't helping him, right? You're just enabling him. Someone like that? He's a person. Okay, a lazy person. You have no idea the struggle someone in his position has to endure on the daily. He could pull himself up by his bootstraps if he chooses. I did it. You inherited a million dollars from your. Oh, father. he's one to talk, how bro. You did it. Not everyone can be that lucky. Bro, I hate. Bro, I hate people like that, bro. I hate. I really hate people like that, bro. Because these are the same people that be like, "Oh, I worked so hard. I worked so hard, bro." The trends of shit, bro. If your family was rich, most likely you gonna be rich. You didn't work that fucking hard, buddy. If anything, the the universe it was meant for you to be fucking rich, bro. You, you basically got handed some keys. Even if you didn't inherit no money, bro, I guarantee if you had a loving family, a stable relationship, parents that was already making money, they gave you the steps and the knowledge that you need to make money. You feel me? Now, if you some fucking broke living in the hood, you don't know nothing. You got to learn from scratch. You got to actually, you know, work your way up, bro. Like, look, that's like, that's like me, all right? Let's say... Matter of fact, we can say it like this. <clears throat> I'm black, right? Let's say you got a black guy that isn't good at basketball and you got a white guy that isn't good at basketball. You feel me? The black guy may na naturally be good at basketball. Basketball is a more, you know, physical, athletic sport and it's not 100% true, but most of the time, black people tend to be on the more athletic side. This is not a race thing, guys. Look at the fucking Olympics. Look at the Olympics. You feel me? The the racing. The sports. I mean, not the sport, the racing, the basketball. You feel me? And then y'all swimming. You feel me? Golfing. Stuff like that, bro. So, come on, man. So you think I haven't earned what I have? No, of course not. I'm just saying that it's not always easy starting from scratch. Right. Blink sleep. We can all use a little help from time to time. Okay. Let's just say by some disaster... I end up on the streets. I'd get a job in an apartment within three months. Oh, tops. That is ridiculous. Care to make a bet? Oh. Here's the deal. If I can't do it, you get my beach house in Hawaii, which I know you've always loved. But when I win, I get your Porsche. Okay, you're on. On one condition. What? If I win, you donate that exact amount to the charity of my choosing. Deal. See, she a good person. Me, I'm taking the beach house in Hawaii, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. But if she already rich and she don't need no beach house in Hawaii, then yeah, go ahead and donate. I will be off the streets and driving this Porsche before you even miss me. Sounds like you have a plan. You think? First thing I gotta do is earn enough money for a suit for a job interview. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Girl think it's just easy peasy, huh? So Jason got to work on his plan. He started by collecting cans, which he used to buy the supplies he needed to start a shoe shining business. Okay. Shoe shiny. Do people even get their shoes? He set up in a location where he knew there'd be customers. 
and soon the money was rolling in. Shoe shine, two dollars. Shine your shoes, only two bucks. Hey man, we should really think about moving spots. That's supposed to be a threat. What? No, I'm just trying to help you out. Right. I don't need any help. You 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 making money by the dollar store, bro. You're supposed to go outside of fucking Gucci and Prada. Go outside of those stores. You feel me? They probably give your ass a good a good amount of money. Especially not from someone like you. I'm doing just fine. Hey! You can't be here. You're scaring my customers away. I'm just trying to make a living. Yeah, my store's expense. Read this sign. Oh, that's why he was warning them. I thought he was trying hey. to tell. No! That's my money. Not anymore. Consider it a tax. I'll call the cops. I already called them. Good. Let's see what they have to say about this. Who do you think they're going to believe? A hardworking store manager like myself? Like some bum. It's not worth it. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go. There's no way, bro. You let the nigga take your money? I'm talking about let's go. Bro, I'm gonna slap the skin off, bro. I work too much hard for that. I mean, I work too hard for that money, bro. Nah, me personally, I wouldn't let that slide. That's just me. Like I took all my money. Yeah, he's bad news. That's what I was trying to warn you about. No, you don't get it. He took all my money. I've got nothing left. Uh, I know what that's like. Right. Trust me. You see. If you need a place to stay, I know one. When I was down to nothing, they looked after me. Look, we're nothing alike, okay? After losing all of his money, Jason tried to pick himself back up and rebuild. But he discovered starting over from nothing was tougher than he could have ever imagined. Before Jason knew it, two months had passed and he was nowhere close to the winning bet. I wouldn't do that, mister. If you're cold, we have a fire. Wait, what? Do what? It's okay. You can come on in. Looks like it's about to rain. I was just on my way to the shelter. Oh, no, no. Trust me. It's much safer in here than it is in there. For real? What's going on at the shelters? Why do you say that? Well, it's just they're not safe for single women, children, the elderly. I mean, it's overpacked and understaffed, so they're not able to keep the vulnerable safe. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. That's why a few of us, a few years ago, we made this camp. We look after each other. You know, uh, doesn't sound too good. Here. No, I'm good. Sounds like you need it more than we do. How did you two end up here? No offense, but you seem pretty capable. Well, wasn't my plan, that's for sure. Well, I actually used to be a COO of a pretty successful company, but life happens. What does that mean? What happened? Well, um, shortly after my daughter was born, my husband, um, he got really sick and um, had to quit my job to take care of him. You know, he pushed through. Two more years. Uh, but um, after that, it's just, it's just hard. This was gap in my resume those two years i just couldn't get a job oh my gosh bro hospital bills were just piling up and before you know it we lost the house and we ended up here on the streets Shh, i know it's okay it's okay i better get going so she can get some sleep thanks
thank you for the food. Yeah. Bro, doing all this for hey, a bet is crazy. Especially uh, if I'm a billionaire, bro. I'm like, I'm like, I'll, I'll totally do a one day max, bro. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I can't do it. I can't do it. You feel me? Because this is crazy, bro. Living in these conditions, bro. No way. You playing dress up, basically. I ain't playing no dress up. And no, no, no. Because that's how you end up broke for real. And on the streets. I don't play about stuff like that. Making fun of homeless people and, and saying they're bums and all. Nope. Because karma come. God will punish you. Karma, whatever you believe in, come right around the corner. And then now you're looking slow. I don't play about stuff like that, bro. You're so I'm not playing no petty games here. like this. Mike, he's just a few tents down. He can set you up with the tarp. I didn't know they was wilding out in the shelters like that, bro. That's ridiculous, man. This shit just make me, like, like Mr. Beast even more, bro. Like, what a great guy. And people be having a nerve to hate. Like, oh, why is it on video? How he's gonna make a living, bro? He's blessing people, bro. People just be hating for no... Bro, that's a, that's gonna piss me off, matter of fact, bro. I know he's not involved in the video, but, bro, Mr. Beast do all this to help people. And st people still be in the comments like, oh, why is he recording? Why does he record every time? Nigga, you go do something, bro. Guys, that's why you just gotta live your life, bro. Because people gonna hate. No matter what you do. Nigga, imagine hating on Mr. Beast, bro. This shit, this nigga did more for, for people out here than the president, bro. And imagine Hayden. Nah, bro. Just live your life, bro. Trust me. Live your life, bro. It's your life, bro. I think it's appendicitis. Oh, my. How can you tell that? I was a nurse for 15 years. We need to get her to the hospital. Come on. Appendicitis is crazy, bro. So we can't take her. What do you mean you can't take her? She needs surgery now. Sir, this is a private hospital. We don't take homeless patients without insurance. Hey, listen, you sexy motherfucker. You need to take her in. Stop looking sexy. Stop looking good. And take her in right now before I get upset. Y'all, you hate to have to see me get involved. Come on, man. It's strictly a liability issue. We can have an ambulance take her to another hospital. There's no time for that, and they don't have the money. Ow! I'll pay for it. Cash. You can pay that much in cash. Yes. But I'm going to need to use your phone. W mans. Hey, how's she doing? Uh, doctor said she's gonna do all right. Thanks to you. You don't have to thank me. I should be thanking the two of you. Thank us for what? For opening my eyes. I never knew it could be this hard to get a second chance. But now that I do. I figured out a way to help other people in need. And I could use your help. My help? Wow. I must say, I am really impressed. You did good, Jason. Really good. I don't know. I mean, I lost our bet. True. But what you're doing here, starting an entire foundation dedicated to helping homeless families get nice. a second chance. That is incredible. Nice, bro. Giving these people a chance, bro. Yeah, well, I couldn't have done any of it without my COO here. She helped me set up dozens of these shelters all over the country. Jason. She looked good. She looked like she wanted me to flirt with her, too. <laughs> you know? When you have a second, would you be able to sign these so we can hire our new in-house nurse? Is he here? Yeah. He's right over here. He's been waiting for you. Thank you so much. I ain't gonna lie. She need a guy like me. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Nice, man. I hope you guys learned a valuable lesson today. These people out here struggling, bro. You know, as people, be, be, be grateful for what you got. You know, count your blessings. You know, because things can get hard right here. You feel me? Things can get hard out here, bro. That's why I try to, you know, try to keep an open mind. My life not that hard, man. 
My life can be way worse. Yes, you know, you have issues. Everybody has issues. It's different issues, bro. But I got clothes on my back. You feel me? I'm able I'm able to talk to y'all. I got technology. I'm eating food every day. I got a loving family. You feel me? So count your blessings, man. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. What I'm going to do, catch you in the next video. Bye.